I want to thank y'all for hanging out to the bitter end. Now this is what you get for it. <laughs> I've always been told I'm a heterosexual, and I always went along with it because heteros can be a lot of fun to sexual with. But life is short, and you should try everything at least once. So one night, just for fun, I ripped a page out of the vagina monologues, and I grabbed my hand mirror, laid it down on the kitchen floor, I pulled down my pot, pants, Caught the squad over and had me a nice long look at my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Damn thing winked at me. <laughs> well, I don't know if wink's the right word. It more blew me a kiss. <laughs> yeah. And it was beautiful. Anyway, Brad Pitt just happened to come to mind. For some reason. It occurred to me that I would let Brad Pitt fuck the shit out of that poor little guy. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm putting the whole idea to music, and it goes like this. <laughs> if I was a gay man, I'd fuck Brad Pitt. <laughs> I'd let him tickle my tonsils with a sweet peanut. <laughs> I wouldn't pull a grudge if he packed my fudge. Just so long as nice enough to spit on it. <laughs> if I was a gay man, I'd fuck Brad Pitt. We jack each other off watching porno flicks. If he came on my face, I wouldn't mind a bit. I'd rub it all around like a piggy and shit. <laughs> Cause I ain't talking about the Inglorious Bastard Brad Pitt, and I ain't talking about Snatch Brad Pitt, I'm talking about Fight Club Brad Pitt. <laughs> and we're in that nasty, dinky, stinky basement where they used to beat the fuck out of each other, and it's completely dark down there except for a flickering light coming from an ancient Bell and Howell Super 8 film projector, and it's shining on uh, a bloodstained Packer track bed sheet that we tacked up on the cinder block wall with bubble yum a bubble gum that we chewed ourselves and in its magical glow we're watching anything goes Euro porn from the 1950s and there's clowns and bearded ladies and small farm animals and these really short fuckers with huge dicks. Now, for a really short fucker with a huge dick in it, but if you was talking about me, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> anyway, it's about that time Brad Pitt jumps up, he starts icing me down with his baby batter like I'm a Cinnabon in a strip mall by a stoplight in Yuba fucking city, California, but it felt like a deluge from a five gallon bucket of Sherwin Williams perfect pearl white water soluble children from other countries that are less fortunate than us and she's anyway it'd be just being Brad Pitt getting gay shit